Today we're talking about the three T's of split shotting. First thing is tying a split shot rig is so simple. And I'll tell you what, I started using this technique when I was about 10 years old when I grew up in Alabama because that's the only way we fished back then. Tying it very simple. Tie a Palomar knot, tie a hook to the end of the line, and then put whatever soft plastic you want to use. I like using worms, lizards, even soft plastic jerk baits. On the other end, we want to put a bull shot weight. This is a, uh, any kind of split shot you like. I happen to like the water gremlin bull shot weight, and here we have it about a foot and a half ahead of the bait. That's how we tie it. For tackle, prefer spinning gear. I love to use a spinning rod because I can cast it a mile. I can also use light line. I like to use six pound test in a lot of cases. Sometimes I'll take braid and I'll tie a fluorocarbon leader to it. But in any case, spinning rod, six and a half, seven feet, even a little bit longer sometimes, that'll be the tackle that you want to use. As far as technique, really simple. Cast it out and drag it. Drag and stop drag and stop. You don't have to keep the bait moving. When you use that weight to feel the cover, leave the bait there for a while. You know that's where the fish are. Then gradually lift the weight up over the cover, let it drop, the bait will follow. A lot of times you'll get bites then. Sometimes you won't feel the bite. All it's going to feel like is a little bit of mush where you go to pull, your rod loads up, you reel, you feel the fish, you pull, you set the hook. So it's reel, feel the fish, pull to set the hook. You can throw this anywhere. Throw it on grass lines, along docks, drop-offs, wood cover, anywhere you want. Try the split shot rig. It's truly a very easy technique.